Hey guys, welcome back to Cinema and a Snack. This is a special edition episode. You notice that we are not in our house, but actually in our car. We're at the Avenues. We're gonna be doing a special edition of Cinema and a Snack with uh, some snacks and Pokemon Go. I know there's already been a lot of videos up for this, but we're kind of really heavily into it. Go Team Mystic. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so we thought, we why not give it a shot and combine our love of Pokemon Go with uh, cinnamon and a snack. Mm -hmm. So we have three snacks today. We have two special Kit Kats and some Pokemon Go candy. Well, something like that. <laughs> they are Grape Gummy Candy by Katsugai. Um, you can actually get these in little packages. We saw the grape ones and we thought this looked almost exactly like um, the Ekans candy or Part any of the yeah. purple uh, Pokemon. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got that. We have pumpkin pie flavored Kit Kats. Oh, yes, we're bringing Kit Kats back. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. And I don't remember what this one was. I think one was uh, like sweet I think potato. This was or... sweet potato. Okay. We so... don't have the bag with us. No. I'm just gonna grab some and uh, run out the door, but I think that this is sweet potato. I'm not sure if you're able to see that. Uh, we'll put it down in the description. Yeah, we'll later. try to take a picture of them later too. Okay, so why don't right. we do the purple ones last? Yes. We'll do that one Let's first. Let's go and do the sweet potato. And don't mind this. I've just been doing a lot of work around the house, and I just pulled something on accident. Yeah, that you know, got Pokemon Go. So. Ah! Oh no! Oh, it doesn't want to be eaten. Don't tell him you just dropped in the car. Oh, okay, we're good. What you <laughs> Oh no, did it melt already? I told, uh, oh. it, it's really hot out here in Florida. Even with AC cranking full blast, it's still like. Oh, that is melted. Yummy. It smells good though. You can definitely smell, it smells like, um, like cocoa sugar, like cocoa uh, butter and sugar. It's got the color of like a, a, a corn chocolate. flavored something, like the, the corn pocky that we had that one time. Yeah, it smells really good. <laughs> ab, 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 ab. You ready? All right. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Ow. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna give my review on this one. I give this one a five. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's so fun. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Like, mm. it's up there with the... Are you really looking at clean? No. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, definitely up there with the green tea Kit Kat, which was hands down my favorite. No, that's like the dark chocolate one was my favorite. Very shortly followed by... I love dark chocolate. <laughs> I don't think we had a dark chocolate cup. I, I have. <laughs> it was a long time ago, like back when I was in high school. I found it, bought like the whole rack, <laughs> and ate it within like six weeks. There were only like, I think, five or six of them. Wow. Well, anyway. Yeah, so I'll make sure that that is um, sweet potato. It's I don't really good. know. It's really good, but... It doesn't it, taste it, like sweet potato. If it is sweet potato, there wasn't that flavor. It tasted... I don't know. I'll have to look again, but that tasted, like I said, more like cocoa butter. You've tried lotion before? There's the smell it goes. I know. I tried perfume once because I was a little kid and the woman at a, a perfume counter, you know, it smelled like pineapples. Fun fact, kids, don't, you know, don't eat perfume just because it smells like a tasty fruit. Honey, I know you're blonde, but I know you're not that special either. <laughs> Uh, that, uh, then I turned uh, 27. All right, next I'll, one. I'll figure it out later. Pumpkin pie. I've been slowly opening mine. Oh. Uh, this one does not feel melted, so that's a good thing. Mine's melted. It may... Uh, it smells like when you cut pumpkins or, like, cut a oh, tree Oh, there's branch. a fun little graph on the back, so if you did want to draw... Oh, no, that's for writing your name on it for, like... Um, oh, okay, so I guess to write your name or something. Yeah, it's like when you give like kids candy and you want to make sure that it's like evenly dispersed, you write their names on it so early. that way they don't uh, so that way they don't fight over it. This one definitely smells like pumpkin pie. I don't know, it smells like a freshly cut, like vined thing. Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. Oh, it's so weird. 
Not yeah. like. All right, this one definitely does taste like pumpkin pie, but it tastes like there's a lot. There was a lot more whipped cream on a pumpkin pie. It was like a tiny slice of pumpkin pie covered in whipped cream. No, do you know what it tastes like to me? <laughs> All right. So. Our last one is uh, some pidgey. I'm, I mean, I wouldn't eat pidgeys. No, but you'd grind them. I am not the professor. I don't remember his name right now, but yeah. It's not oak. No. <laughs> All right. There was actually one I saw that was um, like for Rick and Morty. It was him looking like Rick. And underneath it, you know, he's like, Hey, did you make sure I I mean, release them back into the wild. Wubba lubba dub dub. I've already it. Oh well. She likes to eat pidgeys. Mm -mm. Oh. Really good. Ooh! Before I even bite into that, there's like strong grape flavor. Yeah, like when he opened up the bag, it basically filled the car with grape. Like, not like grape soda kind of grape, but. Grape Kool Aid. It's like a grape Kool Aid. I don't like grape Kool Aid. Well, you do now. No. <laughs> but. These are good. Maybe two more of these. They won't help you evolve, but. I hope satisfy your sweet tooth. Oh, well, maybe me because I'm wearing a purple shirt. I'd say five. Yeah, five. Consistency, taste, flavor, everything, definitely a five. Yeah, exactly. You know, you, you see grape. This is grape. No lie. Yeah, and not like grape medicine kind of grape, which some grape things tend to end yeah. up being. But tastes like grape Kool-Aid to me. It's very enjoyable. Is that the last one? Yeah. Okay. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> all right see you guys in a minute bye <laughs> okay all right so we haven't even left the car yet and apparently pokemon go the servers are being wonky and not working um we're gonna keep trying we're gonna walk around for the moment and see what's what we can do yeah but um if it doesn't work we may have to try again tomorrow all right see you in a minute oh look a wild one appeared. A brand new Pokemon appeared. Antelope. Oh look, it's climbing. It's climbing! Antelope. Alright guys, so we're still walking around, still hoping that the Pogo servers come back on online. But neither of us can sign in. Yeah, I guess. Um, I looked into it, I guess there's some, uh, there's a very lovely group calling themselves Poodle Corp that has just taken it down and decided to ruin the fun for everybody. So we're sorry, we are, we're still gonna be looking around though and hopefully things will come back up online soon. We'll get back when it starts working again. Yep. Yes, the servers are back up and back online. Woohoo! All right guys, so we got our first like new Pokemon of the day. It's a Golbat. I'm so excited for this because I've been collecting bazoo bats to try to evolve it and get it leveled up. It's the first gold bat we found. Unfortunately, that Nino Queen did get away, but gold bat we should be able to get. So, uh, so let's see what we. No, don't glitch. Oh no! Don't you glitch? Oh no! Wait a minute. Uh. Right. And batter up. <clears throat> no pun intended. She's a raspberry on you. Oh, and go. Nope, okay. Nope, okay, he just doesn't want to be caught. And go. Nope. Okay, on this last one, if I can't get him, he's not worth it. And go. I'm turning <gasps> this off. Okay. Beep, beep. Okay, so lost the gold bat, but I still have enough Zubats to be able to evolve it. We're walking over to where there's a big lure spot, so we're hoping that we should be able to actually get stuff here in a minute. But we can only be here for a short amount of time. Yeah. So we're going to see what we can get. Yeah, so we're going to try to get everything we can here. This lure stop, <clears throat> there's actually between two Poke stops here. So we're going to be hanging out here for a little bit, seeing what we can get. And there's a blue gym just down the way. Yeah. <clears throat> so we we're hoping that we'll be actually able to get something soon, but... So, uh, we'll get back with you guys. So as you guys see, we're actually in between two lures right now, but there's nothing popping up other than like Pidgeys, Weedle, nothing really spectacular. And there's a bunch of people here right now. Like, 
well not a bunch but there's a decent amount showing up right now okay so now that we're home you guys have seen the progress of the uh, 10 kilometer egg it's just about to hatch okay so this is my first 10 kilometer egg let's see uh, let's see what we get oh come on you're something really really good yes hit on Lee first real like first real big catch I've got today I can still evolve and get a um, what is it, a gold bat I know we missed the one, but I'm probably going to evolve the one in a little bit and try to get it. And then we're still going to go on another excursion tomorrow because the servers are messing up so badly that we couldn't get that much. But tomorrow, we will. Oh, it's so exciting. Okay. Woo! Okay. So, after the whole day of not having a whole lot, you know, Rodney had an egg hatch. Now I'm going to have an egg hatch. And what, when what? is this one? Uh, it's a 5K. Okay. So, let's see what it is. We'll not a weedle. Oh, oh, nice. You haven't had that one yet. No, I have That's haven't. a right horn. His name is going to be Fluffy. I like it. What, what does, let's see what his CP is because I forgot mine. 227. Nice. What's his, what's his attacks? I don't know. Uh, rock, rock smash, smash and, and stomp. Okay. okay. When I read it, I thought it said shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> no. Look at my Snorlax. His name is Fat Prince. I tried to put in Sweet Fat Prince, but it wouldn't come up because he's just adorable and lovable. Yeah. And I didn't want to name him Fluffy. That was just too yeah, you cliche, got... and I've seen that a few times on Facebook. So hey, guys. All right. So we are back. It's the next day, and we're getting ready. We're still walking around some. Hello. Hi. <laughs> we're still walking around, and it looks like we're actually about to hatch a few eggs. So as you guys see on the screen here, it's at one point, we have four uh, two kilometer eggs, and it's just about to hatch. It's at hatched? one. Without telling me. Oh, okay, apparently one of hers hatched, and we didn't know. What was it? A rye horn, huh. again. She got another rye horn, cool. Okay, so we actually just got home, and things are, it's about to hatch. Looks like we have four eggs attaching. Let's see where they are. First egg. Remember, these are the uh, two kilometer ones. Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu. That's awesome. Let's see what level it is. 443? Holy crap. That's a big guy, too. 9.49 kilogram. Don't judge. Wow. More to love. Right? <clears throat> oh, that's, that's awesome. Oh, I'm so happy with that one. All right. Let's see what the next one is. This is like an unboxing. Right? An unegging? No. And it doesn't work. Squirtle. Nice. All right. I, I, got, I have so those jealous. already. A 163. All right. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Okay. So I guess um, the, the phone crapped out, but luckily I didn't click off of it. We got a Geodude. I've not got that yet. It's 275. So that's brand new for me. Only eight Geodude candy though, so not that great for the candies for uh, evolution, but still great. It's my first real rock Pokemon, so I'm really happy about that one. Yeah, you've been wanting one all day. Yeah, because I've been needing one to add to my team. Just he's a low level, so I can't do much with him, but still. All right, last one, fourth and final egg. Magikarp. Oh, wait a second. With it hatching, that means I get a lot of candy. I got no candies with that. Uh, yeah, you got three. No, I was already at 97. Really? I got zero candies. How does... It drank Power Thirst. I don't That's know. That's disappointing. I didn't know you couldn't get can... I thought you would always get candies. Uh, who knows? Oh, okay. Well, you got another one? I thought you had six. Nope, I, I had four of the eggs hatching. All right, so I guess that's gonna do it for the egg hatching. I'll go ahead in a little bit and do the uh, evolutions. And I got a medal. Okay, so first evolution is gonna be Bulbasaur. And it's gonna be the first time that I'm actually gonna get the Ivysaur. I think that we lost the egg from earlier, but... Uh, I was trying to do screen capture there. Okay, anyway, so this is the first time getting the Ivysaur. 
As you guys just saw, I kind of got there a little bit late, but that's okay. So, got brand new Ivysaur. I'm really excited on that one. Um, okay, so last uh, evolution, the others are just kind of not too much on it. Evolving Zubat into Golbat. I'm excited because I finally got it. I almost, I lost one when we were at the Avenues the other day. But, this time, I'll get it. I'll have a brand new Pokemon, brand new one added to my list, and hopefully with a few more other candies too. Golbat. Alright, show me that new Pokedex. I don't know why, but I always love seeing that new thing. Why did I get a new one? What? That's my first... Oh. You got it the other day, didn't you? Apparently I didn't actually look. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> okay. All right, so that basically is going to conclude um, our second day. Now that the servers have been working today, I actually got a pretty decent haul. She unfortunately Two did not. Horns, tons of revives, and I can't even bring my sweet fat prince to a gym. That's my Snorlax for anyone who doesn't know. <laughs> All I need is nine more points so I can actually leave him at the gym, which we've dominated at near our house, and I can't even do it because he's nine points away. Yeah, we stopped at about <laughs> seven Pokestops, and not, well, she got one potion, and the rest was revives and Pokeballs, so. Mm -hmm. Which I don't, don't help at all, because I think I have maybe, I think like three Pokeballs left out yeah. of the two that I have, two different kinds I have now. Yeah. It's not because I'm bad at aiming, it's just, may, okay, half them I am. Okay, yeah, half them I'm bad at aiming. The other half, don't, don't even. <laughs> okay. And yeah, so you guys get to see the couple evolutions I got. The me being dumb and not realizing that I had already gotten the gold bat. That was kind of funny though. Yeah. I still can't believe that Magikarp didn't give me any candy. I haven't heard of that. I thought that the minimum you would get was eight. Watch, it'll show up, up to tomorrow. like 50. It'll right. show up tomorrow. So, I don't know. But the rest I was happy with, that Pikachu was really high. Yeah. Got it, getting to evolve into an Ivysaur. And I realized I'm three away from evolving my Squirtle into a War Turtle. So that's really awesome. Aw, Archibald <laughs> will have someone to look up to. And then I finally got my Jolteon so we can actually battle the gems around here. Because most everything around here is either birds or water type. So I needed the Jolteon to actually get to where it's really good. Um, we're going to try again tomorrow for another stop, hopefully up at a library, because there is lures galore. Like, I think I kind of minimum, or Pokestops galore, I think I kind of minimum of 15 in one area. Mm -hmm. So, we're I probably going to... we have to walk around to go find them. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's, they're pretty close to each other, which is really good, and we can farm Magikarp like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, that one I'm really excited about, so uh -huh. I'm hoping we can get some Magikarp. Hopefully soon, I evolve into a Gyarados. Right now, I'm at 101. Because I got one on our way home after the last cut. Mm -hmm. um, do you know what yous are? No, I have no idea. Okay. All I know is I really want to eventually uh, find a whole bunch of more Squirtles. I d it's so hard for me to find. I, that was my first one, and I named it Archibald, and I refused to get rid of it, even though it's a low level. <laughs> I just really, really right. want to turn it into a Blastoise. So... Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more of this type of uh, cinnamon snack with... Uh, Featuring Pokemon Go Edition, <laughs> let us know any uh, thoughts you guys may have, any tips, tricks, anything you have for uh, Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, like comment, comment subscribe, and subscribe, and share. Yes, share. That's a big one. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I guess that will do it. So, for this edition of Cinnamon a Snack, that's, that's a wrap. wrap.